Okay, thank you everybody. We're back again to finish up this app training. We're moving forward quickly. Let's talk about events. I know we've gone through how to share with people, how to manage your prospects, how to get them over on a three-way call and how magical that can be. But let's talk about getting them to an event because your upline may be inv inviting them to maybe your home event or a hotel event or maybe a webcast or a conference call. The event section is probably the most powerful um, technology inside the system. There's a lot to it. I'm not going to be able to go over all of it right now, but let's get in there and show you that. So let's tap on events, and let's show you. When you first come into events, it's either going to show you this view, which is the list view, or it's going to show you the month view. Okay, and the month view is good because it shows you the dots that where those events are. Okay, but let's go back to list view. Okay, list view can put you all the events. Look at all the events that are being added into the system, and that's because Events are there for everybody to see if they want to be seen, okay? You yourself can add event by hitting the add event button, okay? And the add event button, okay, does a couple of things. This is where you put the title of the event. So that might be a business webcast, or whatever it is. This is where you put the date. This is where the details go. You may have, you know, a number of different details in there with links and information about who's hosting that webcast or that home party, that hotel party, okay? So you type these in. These are for your personal rep events. I want to caution everybody. This is not for your birthday. This is not for, a, you know, a social personal issue that's going on. It has nothing to do with the rain business. This is only for events that have to do with the rain business. If you put events in here that have nothing to do with the rain business, they will get deleted by corporate. So please only put rain events in here. Also, the categories right here, let's tap on that. Okay, quick event, home meeting, hotel meeting, webcast, conference call, training. These are typically the type of events that you'll have, okay? Quick event, that is designed and defaulted for just one-on-one. -on -one. That's for you and a buddy who you might be delivering a sample to. You sent that video out of share, remember? They said, yeah, I'd like a sample. You called them up and said, yeah, I'm going to bring it over tomorrow at 5 o'clock. So how do you do quick event? Easy. Title, that was with me and Rye. Okay, <clears throat> so Ryan and John, sample delivery. Okay, done. Was the detail? Sample delivery. We agreed to meet at Starbucks. We know what Starbucks that is. It's right next to our house. It's no big deal. I don't need to put that address in. Okay, we had decided to do it tomorrow at 7 p.m. done. So I just tapped on that right there. Okay, it's a quick event because I don't want to have to enter all this stuff in. Ryan knows who I am. He knows what we're doing. I just want to put a professional calendar invitation so he gets reminders, right? So I'm going to hit save. Okay, and then it's going to ask you, look at that, tomorrow, Yes, do I want to send an invitation? Yeah, I do. So look at this. So just like that, I can tap because remember, Rise a current prospect now. I've been marketing to him. Okay, I don't have to go to the address book. I'm going to go to current prospect. I'm going to tap Rye. I'm going to hit invite, and I'm going to send it via the same thing. Okay, and I'm going to send that message to him, <clears throat> and you're going to see what it looks like. Look at that. Been by the event. Boom, just like that. And off it goes. So what's so cool about this? is now I'm gonna go back to the Rain app, okay? And there's my event is in red. I'm gonna tap on it, and you're gonna scroll down, and look, it shows that I've invited him. He hasn't attended yet, but here's the best part about. If Rye clicks attend, I'm gonna be notified, but here's the cool part. Rye, this is why you always put emails in the system. If Rye clicks attend, <clears throat> says, yeah, I want a reminder, guess what? He's gonna get a reminder one day, one hour, Look at this. This is just great. Rye Fries indicated he should be attending your Ryan and John on 24, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Look at it. Rye Fry, boom. I love it. Okay, close. So this means now that Rye is going to get a reminder one day prior, one hour prior, and 15 minutes prior to this event. There's no way he's going to forget about it, right? You can let the app do the talking. They'll send it via email because that's our computer system can only automatically. I can't grab your phone and send a text. I can't automatically grab your phone and send a, a WhatsApp reminder, but I can send an email. That's why it's great always sending things by email in addition to text or WhatsApp, okay, because the app uses it for event reminders, okay. That's the cool part, so keep that in mind. But here's another idea. See this right here? Right here. Let's look at this health talk down here. What else can the app do? Well, here's what's cool. Here's another event 
It's a hotel meeting right here, okay? Let's say I knew somebody that lived up near Putnam, Connecticut. Here's the thing. What if I live near that? Well, as a rep, I can elect to attend, okay? And the app will actually remind me to attend this event, okay? This is cool, okay? See what it says? It's going to remind me. But since it's a geographic meeting, guess what else I'm going to get? I'm going to get a map right to this event. So I don't have to wonder how to get there. The update, the reminder via email to me is going to come into my phone. I'm going to tap on that map, and it's going to take me right there. That's a beautiful thing. Another thing is that I'm going to opt out because I don't want this person thinking I'm going to be there. So I'm going to opt out. Now here's what else can happen. What, let's say I have a prospect that I want to see that event or go to that event. I can just invite it. Just like that, I can invite, and I can actually go to my address book for somebody who lives there, or I can go to my current prospect if the person's already been marketed to. That's generally a good idea. You don't want to invite somebody to an event that you haven't talked to yet. But let's say it was Rye. I'm going to sit current prospect. <coughs> I'm going to kick this over to Rye. I'm going to invite him to it as well, okay? And I'm going to send it via WhatsApp and email, okay? And I'm going to send it to him. And just like that, I've invited him, okay? So I want you to see how quick and easy it is to invite people to these events, okay? And if you want to see where it is, you can show a map by tapping on it right there. And it's going to show me exactly where that is if I had a problem, okay? Now I'm going to go back, and there you go, just like that. It's going to keep me inside the app, okay? Pretty cool. So that's how that works. Let's go back to all the events. <clears throat> so that's how this works. If you want to add another event, okay, you can just add another event. And now let's say you want to have your own webcast. You just tap it there. You don't need an address for a webcast, but you got to put in a title, a detail, okay? And you got to put in some other images. If you try to save it, okay, see, you need a title. If I try to save it without detail, it's going to make me do some detail, and then it'll let me save it, okay? So let's go back. Look what's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and opt in to this health talk right here, this Rain Club Live event, okay? It looks like, where is this? It's in Germany. It's just a webcast, so I don't want to attend it, so I'm going to attend. I hit yes. So just like that, I'm going to get some reminders. That's really cool, right? Let's go back. Okay, now here's what happens. My personal events are in red. Any event I've opted into has a star. These I haven't opted into. So that's how it works. So let's go ahead and add one more event, and let me show you something here. So I'm going to go down, and let me pick a hotel meeting. It's very important information. When you go to schedule events, other than <clears throat> a quick event, you've got to decide whether you want to make an event public or global. If you don't want an event to be public, and you don't want anybody to see it, but you and a few select people you invite, you tap right here, and you make and you make it go no. You just select no, and just like that, it's there. Global. Global means now public, when we go back to yes, public means that everybody within about 50 to 70 miles of your location are going to see it. Or if, you know, that's how that works. But if it's global and you say yes, that means everybody in the system needs it. So here's what I'm going to tell you. If your event of any type does not, if it's geographic, do not make it global. Not everybody across the world is going to be able to come see it, okay? If it's an Internet event and you're only going to invite a few people and, and, and not everybody needs to be on it, don't make it global, okay? That's why it's defaulted to no, and this is defaulted to yes, because that's usually the way it should be, okay? So that's just a little bit of training on what public and global means, and if you need to, come back and check this out, okay? So that's a brief overview of events. It's very powerful. You can search by keyword. You can search by geography. You can search by type event. It's a very, very powerful system. Check it out. Make sure you participate. Have fun with it, and uh, really use it. Right now, it does not integrate with any other event calendar today. It may in the future. It's a closed system, but it works fantastic for you and all the reps to check it out, co-invite, co-promote for events, and invite prospect to events that matter, okay? So let's get back. So that's the event system, and I want to stop here with the events. We're going to go ahead and finish up with the next lesson about enrollment and an overview, and we'll close. So thank you for listening to events.